Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Gretchen, physical therapist and multiple sclerosis specialist at The Missing Link. The number one goal that my Missing Link members are working on is improving their walking. That might mean their walking strength or their walking endurance or just their overall quality of walking. And with that comes lots of different exercises. I first want to review all the different steps of walking, and then I'm going to point out the most underutilized exercise, yet it's also one of the most important exercises. So here we go. In order to take a single step forward, it's very important that you're able to shift your body weight forward, bend your knee, swoop your toes, bring your knee up, straighten your knee, put your heel down, and all while that was happening, I was standing on one leg. So that's single leg balance. So let's review those again. So you're gonna shift your weight forward, bend your knee, toes up, knee up, straighten, put your heel down, and all while that was happening, single leg stance. You were standing on one leg. So those are seven movements that you can create into exercises. But the point that we're going to focus on today is that very first movement that I mentioned, which was weight shifting. So many people focus on strengthening exercises to help with their walking, including moving their leg forward. So you might focus on bending your knee or maybe marching to lift your hip maybe ankle dorsiflexion so that you can reduce foot drop. But what a lot of people forget is that in order to even have the balance and strength to move this leg forward, you first need to shift your body weight off of this leg. So let me show you what I mean. If I'm gonna take a step forward, right now I have about 50% of my weight on this leg and 50% on this leg. So it's about half and half. If I do not shift my body weight at all, if I keep it as is, and I go to lift this leg to bring it forward, this is what happens. I fall backwards because I have too much weight here. If I don't transfer weight off of this leg and onto this front leg, when I go to lift it up, I'm just gonna fall right back down on this leg. So the very first step of walking that is important for you to think about with every step that you take is shifting your weight off of the leg that you want to move forward. So in this case, I wanna shift my weight off of this leg and onto my front leg. Once I can do that safely, and once I have about 90 to 95% of my weight on my front leg, then, I can lift my leg to bring it through. But then and only then, once you have enough weight here, otherwise you're setting yourself up for failure. You're gonna lift this leg and you'll fall back on that side or you'll lift it, but you'll quickly put it down. This might be an example of when you're walking like you're drunk, you feel like you don't have control over your legs or where they go. It could potentially be due to not shifting your weight enough so that when you lift a leg, it just quickly lands because you gotta get it down somehow, otherwise you'll fall. So let's talk about how you would make this an exercise. What I give to all of my clients is the exercise of staggered stance weight shifting. So what that requires is one foot comes forward and one foot is back. Now this should feel like a regular step length for you. So if I show you from this side, you should not feel like you're in this really wide stance. It should feel like it's the normal distance of what one step would be for you. So for me, it looks like this. For you, it might be a little bit shorter or a little bit longer if your legs are shorter or longer than mine. But for me, this feels pretty standard. So you're in a staggered stance, one foot is forward, one foot is back. And it's also worth noting, it's not tandem stance. So it's not with your feet one in front of the other. They are separated and wide. If this position in itself feels too unsteady, widen your feet even further. So they're still staggered, but they're wide. So find a position that feels comfortable for you. And then from here, 
you're going to unlock both of your knees and then slowly shift as much weight as you can safely and without that knee locking onto your front leg. Hold here for a second or two and then come back to neutral and forward again. So we would do this about 10 times. Forward and back. I'll do one more for demonstration purposes. Forward. The knee is not locked. It's slightly bent. And back. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll turn this way to show you. So one foot forward, one foot back. Abs are nice and tight. You're standing up tall. Shift your weight forward and back. And it's worth noting too that while right now, as I'm demonstrating this for you, I'm in the middle of a room without anything nearby, you absolutely can use a walker, trekking poles, a cane or a walking stick. You can use a mobility aid for this exercise. I hope you found this exercise helpful and I hope you feel encouraged to include it in your daily exercises. It is such an important one that is often underutilized. And no matter how much strength you gain in your legs, if you can't weight shift, you will still feel unbalanced walking.